Hi, welcome back to Mixed Media Creations with me, Creative Katie, Karen Birchall. Today we are doing the final Friday for October. This is the final Friday planner collaboration. Check out the links to the other collaborators in the description box below. I think we have some new collaborators this month. So exciting. Links to any supplies can be found in the description box below as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So this month, I just have a lot going on, so my planner is going to be super simple. Now this is a classic planner, and I switched to that when I got the 18 month one on a good deal, and I absolutely love it. A couple months ago, I decided to turn it kind of on its side. Now here's September, and I love using these gel prints in this way to add color to my pages. So I'm going to do much the same. Now this month the color is teal, so we've kind of put away that corally color. And so I pulled out some of my gel prints that are all kind of that teal color. Now the monthly spread here, I typically don't do a lot on this. I input the data and information and pretty much that's it. It just helps me get things organized. So I just do want to add some color to this page. It's pretty boring. So this is brayered off paper that I did with my art uh, journal collaboration. I created this in the teal aqua color. So I'm just adding that little bit of color there just to put it. I've discovered that for me, the planner pages make me happy when there's color there. Now this is another gel print and I had cut these petals out again this shape for that other planner the pl not the planner the um, art journal collaboration where I did a canvas and I made flowers using this petal shape and it was still hanging out on my desk so I used that as a template and cut out these leaves which I was inspired by the front of the November one and I just love the colors. That purple goes so well with that teal. It is just a lovely color combination. And I thought, I'm just going to add kind of a starburst in the middle. Now, you're right. This is taking up a lot of the written space, writing space that's on the planner. And I'm okay with that. I don't have set things to write everywhere. And there's enough white space there for me to do that. But you'll have to adjust that for your specific needs and how you're using your planner. And don't let anybody convince you that, you know, or make you think that you're not doing your planner correctly. There is no right way and there are no rules. It needs to work for you as a functional planner and it needs to bring you joy. Those two things and it's a win. So I'm just applying this with my glue stick here. Now I could also use gel medium, but then I would use the heat tool right away to dry it because I don't want the pages to buckle. I, you know, don't want too much of that happening. So I'm keeping wet products to a minimum on here. And if I ever use anything that's just a little bit more wet, I make sure I have the heat tool at the ready and, and blast it right off the bat. So the next week, I decide I'm going to dig out my Distress Oxide. Now, I just bought the Distress Oxide in the Peacock Feathers, which, of course, is right up the color scheme for this page. And so I'm deciding to do kind of the smooshing technique on for this planner page, just to put color there. Now, when you're doing the smooshing technique, it's kind of hard to predict exactly what it's going to look like. So if you like things that are a certain set way, maybe the smooshing technique isn't for you. So I'm just masking off parts of the page that I don't want to get the distress ink on. And what I'm doing off camera is I'm touching the tape to my jeans or my sweater and just getting it so it's not quite as sticky so that it doesn't rip the paper when I pull it off. Putting the Distress Oxide right onto the crafting mat and activating it with water, just kind of giving it a 
separating it a little with the paintbrush. I find I like that. Now the nice thing with the Distress Oxides is you can get all the different layers of colors and you can layer them up. So what you need to do, and, and sometimes I have to force myself to do it, is stop, let it dry or dry it, and then come back. I really did want to get more white space on here, but because of the stress inks, you can write on them so easily, that won't hinder me being able to write on it. Adding a different color that's very similar. Um, not can't remember what name of that one is. It was in the first release. And another and a blue one. I'm just adding the three colors. Now these three colors all play really nice together. So um, there's no chance that I'm going to make mud even if they were wet. The smooshing technique is a really quick, easy way to get paint and color all over. And as you can see, I've, I've got the heat tool right there and I'm drying it as I go. And the page really didn't buckle that much. As I've said before, the paper that they use in the Happy Planner is quite, quite substantial. And, and takes a little bit of wet. So I'm being very careful to pull this off where the punches are, because I've ripped it before. And I'm just kind of pulling it off very gently. To reveal my nice little watercolory pattern. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I didn't do both of them in the same time because A, I didn't, I wanted to make sure I dried it after each one. And two, I don't think there is a two. <laughs> Lost my train of thought. Oh well, so here I am again, masking it off. and using the same three colors in the same order. If I mix up the order, it would look slightly different. And drawing it off. And I'm picking up some of the leftovers on some of the gel prints and brayer papers that I have just sitting around. There's no need to waste anything. So I always have, you know, blank ATCs, blank uh, pages, some gel prints that I can just add whatever color I happen to be working with. I'll put the links to the specific distress inks, distressed oxide colors that in the description box. So in total, it took me one hour to do the entire month planner. So I just love the soft colors that are developed here. And I'm thinking I need something at the top, because remember I'm gonna turn this on its side. I need some kind of banner or something there not sure what I'm what I want 
and I'm looking around my desk seeing what little bits here and there I've, I've found. And I found another gel print that has those same colors that, ha that I made using um, puzzle pieces. I pressed the puzzle pieces into the gel plate. So I will definitely be looking for a quote about puzzles or pieces. So I have this peacock stencil that I use a peacock stencil um, from the crafters workshop to create this that gel print and I've cut cut that out to make the banner at the top and then I have this other peacock feather stencil. This one's from Kite. Although Crafters Workshop makes makes several, the one that I use for the gel print and um, another one that I you've seen me use. I also have a Stampanda stamp with peacock feathers that I could have used here if I wanted to. So I'm masking off the area and I'm going to use my distress oxides again or distress inks to add color and I'm just using them with the blending tool the distress inks and the oxides work really well um, in the planner for quick application of color and you can blend the colors so nicely and it minimizes the amount of wet and water that you're using and you can use it with any of your stamps and any of your stencils that you have in your stash so it's a really good way to um, decorate your planner without spending money on all those pre-made pre-purchased planner stickers and things that they have So you'll note the stencil here isn't quite big because this is just a six by six. So I just kind of move it down and continue on. And no one's the wiser that it isn't a continuing pattern. You just kind of eyeball it and make it look like you know what you're doing. Now the one thing with the stencils, when I use acrylic paint, I'm not so careful anymore about cleaning the stencils but when you've used distress inks or sprays or anything that's water soluble you please take the time to clean them or it will come off on your next project which you may not want those colors so it's well worth your while to take that little bit of time to to just spritz them with water and wipe them off And there we have it just a little bit of color and you know voila last month I um, didn't put any bullets or uh, checkbox kind of items and I was testing that out I really didn't miss it but I'm not you know that again is a personal choice to how you use your planner now I so loved using the balls in the, the last month that I had to redo that. So I went through and I punched out some from different gel prints that would all fit this color scheme. Um, these, these balls are smaller than the ones I used in the previous month. And I'm just gluing this down very quickly. Now, 
Now, if you don't have gel prints or colored papers, you can also just use your punch and or trace circles from magazines and you can get some wonderful colors there. So now that all the colors on there, I want to add some quotes. So I went through my quote binder and found quotes that would be suitable. And I don't really have a theme here at all. So it's just kind of whatever quote catches my eye. And that's why I like the quote binder so much because they're all there and at different times and different moods, you know, it's going to appeal to me and it's quick and easy. Now these are my Just Sayings stickers and I um, have a video where I show how I made these. Basically I stamped, created, the, created the, the words, selected a bunch of short sayings and words and printed it off onto um, a whole sheet of sticker paper that I got from the dollar store. So I just decided I'm going to just put one of these words on each of, of the petals and that's going to do the trick for this page. And again, this makes it quick and easy. As easy as it is to have the quotes at handy, it's even doubly easy to have it already printed out onto sticker paper. So if you like the ease of having the stickers, you can make your own. And I will look into finding the videos that I have where I'm making some of my own stickers for use in my planners. Because in the first few months of this year, I did um, several videos where I did just that. And I've customized them. So, you know, go back. There's a whole playlist of my planner videos from, from the beginning of this year. And the ideas and, that are used in using mixed media supplies and using things from your stash are good for any month. They're not specific to one month. You may change the colors, but the ideas are what's there. My challenge that I gave myself was to come up with new ideas, new ways of using your mixed media stash in your planner. And you know, I'm happy to say that each month I think I did give at least one new idea. Some months you got more than that. I'm finding with a lot of these pages, it just doesn't seem to have enough, um, it's not defined enough, so I'm outlining it with the dot, dot, dash. Uh, I think well, I may end up doing some doodling as I'm using my planner, which is often what I do. But I just need a little bit more black here to define the page and the areas. And that's the other thing. The planner doesn't have to be 100% done right off the bat you can add to it as the weeks go by as you know as you are using it it's kind of a work in progress i should have grabbed my posca paint pens here because i, I they do they do not bleed through the happy planner pages so that would have been made a little bolder mark because it's a little thicker. I think I might go back and do that now. I love this quote, art changes people and people change the world. And I really firmly believe that I, my life is better because I do creative things. It is is a good way of dealing with my chronic pain. It's a good way of balancing myself. And I know I'm a better person and then therefore everybody I meet is better off because of art. As I said at the beginning, this is a planner collaboration.
please check the description box below. I believe we have some new participants this month, so please check that out. The same group um, or variations thereof also are doing a um, collaboration, an art journal collaboration, and that goes out the 15th of every month. So, um, and it's just so amazing to see different people approaching the same challenge in various ways, using their their own stash, their own styles, um, and amongst all those videos, you're bound to find a style that speaks to you. So here I'm just using a charcoal pencil. It's a woodless charcoal pencil, and I absolutely love this. I usually grab the soft one or the medium one. It's for a quick, easy way. I was afraid when I used it last month that it would smudge too much and make the page dirty, but it didn't really do that much after I smudged it right at the beginning. This is a quote from Helen Keller, and I decided with the balls I'm just going to cut and put two words on each ball. So I kind of ended up counting, while I love the quote, I was also counting the words to make sure that it fits within these tiny little balls. And it says, be happy with what you have while working for what you want. And, you know, I'm a big advocate of being grateful for, for what you have. And, you know, happiness is, is a choice. just doing some outlining and shading here in a very quick easy way some months you're going to spend more time on your planner some months it's going to be a quick one okay so November is done I've input so some of the dates in so here I've written in all the birth dates and everything um, I need to know we're going to do um, and this, here. I absolutely I love, love this page. I love that gel print. This and flower so in the middle oops, and know, the colors. That purple with that teal. For it. Um, I think I need to do an art journal page with those two colors. Love the smooshing technique. you got to let go and, and let it be. Who doesn't love peacocks? And I just love these balls. Just adding that little bit of color on the we'll page. See you for so we will see you next month. Final Friday December. at the end of November. Keep watching and you will see... Um, some close-ups of the finished planner spreads. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the rest of the planner videos in my playlist. Lots of ideas there that are evergreen. They will constantly be able to be used, They're not specific necessarily to the month. One more month to go. Hard to believe that it's been a whole year of doing mixed media in my happy planner.